I was asked a question about bowerbirds and, and their displaying, which uh, I've done a little uh, clip that you might want to have a look, up, look at to explain the difference between a bower and a nest. But it got me thinking about the whole business of birds and bird displays. And I do a radio show um, in my local city here in Canberra with Tatiana every Saturday morning. And she often says to me, you know, Neil, at the end of the day with all this bird stuff, all the calls, all the displays, all the plumage, it's all about the boy meets girl story, isn't it? And in fact, Tatiana's right. A lot of what we observe with birds is about males and females displaying to uh, produce the next generation. And the bird, in the bird world, males go to, and it's mainly the males, go to an extraordinary level to actually have plumages that they can display, uh, crests, tails, ways in which they dance, all to try and impress the female to show that they're the best genetics on the block and it's their genes that need to be passed on to the next generation. So the displays and the courtships of birds are very elaborate. And of course, birds can see in colour. Uh, unlike mammals, which are all in grey and, grey and white and black, I mean, the colour that birds can see is is powerful in their displays. And in fact, they have some colors which humans find difficult to see. Some of the iridescent colors, we don't actually see in the full, in the full richness of the color that the birds see. So the males use these colors and they might display their, they might open up their wings, they might display their wings in a certain way, show their crests in a certain way, or fly up in a certain way to reveal a long tail. Um, all these courtship um, methods um, are all about to try and convince the female that he's the best um, for her young. Some males and females will, will mate for life and, and the courtship is maybe as in albatrosses, it's to do with the, um, the calling that they make to one another on the nest um, and some preening that they do of one another. That's the, the level of courtship that they do. But I'm never, it never ceases to amaze me with every species of bird I look at. And there are over 10,000 species of birds in the world. They all seem to have different displays, different courtships, which of course fascinate us. And we still need to do much more research to learn the detail of many of these courtship displays and how it works and how the generations then are produced from, from the displays that are done during the courtships. Watch out for some more uh, clips that I'll do. I'll highlight a couple of the uh, different courtship displays in a number of different birds in some future YouTube stories. So check them out. Hi, I hope you've just enjoyed watching that YouTube clip that uh, I've produced. If you do like the clips that I'm doing, please do hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel and share uh, my uh, material with some of your friends. That would be great. I'm sure you know many people that would also enjoy hearing about birds from around the world on my YouTube channel. Thank you.